But let's talk about the three vaccines that are tied with seven votes. J&J, Novavax, and the, San, and the Sanofi Glaxo team up. And we've had all these uh, teams on. I think the Sanofi Glaxo candidate has great possibilities because both companies have excellent vaccine divisions, though they are late to the party. Novavax is ultra high risk, ultra high reward. It's a total long shot that's trading like it already won. Why? Because it got a $1.6 billion commitment from the president's Operation Warp Speed initiative. Well, it's disconcerting that people think that they are in the poll position, which leads me to my favorite, Johnson & Johnson. I'm hearing nothing but good things about their trial, even as it's only now gotten to phase one. More importantly, aside from COVID, J&J is the best pipeline of these drug companies. Their vaccine could fail, and the stock may not even go down. That's how cheap this thing is. I think it's a buy right here. My travel trust has a big position in it. There's not much to say about the others. I like Regeneron for its COVID treatment, but I like it even more for its non-COVID drugs, including a surprisingly strong oncology portfolio that no one's talking about. As for Novio, the handicappers have spoken, and they say sell. The bottom line, we will revisit this race as we get closer to the finish line. But the bottom line, if you want to make an informed wager or at least invest on the vaccine stocks, I think AstraZeneca has the most promising formulation. However, J&J is the best stock because it's inexpensive and it's got so much else going if it turns out to be a loser in the COVID-19 vaccine race for a cure or at least immunity. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.